Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Legion Y7000, the 2019 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing, power down your computer through the start menu. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. There are 11 screws on the bottom case. Once you remove those screws, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because it'll scratch your case far less than a metal one will. You're gonna go around the seam of your bottom case and pry it off from the rest of your computer. Now be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge, go nice and slow, careful but firm, and you'll be able to get that off. It's generally best to start out back near one of the back corners. And if you get stuck going in one direction, just leave it. Start on the other side and continue around. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model, the Y7000, I will have a link above, also below in the description, and that will be a list of all the tools and supplies, as well as those replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. Now, before touching anything in a computer, it's always wise to remove or at least unplug your battery. Computers are safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. Your battery is right down here, near the bottom right of my screen. It's held in by these five screws near the red arrows, and it plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, usually it's best to not pull on wires, if at all possible, in a computer. Sometimes you can damage them or pull them right out of the plug. However, in this computer, there's no give here. There's no extra wire to grab onto. So I had to unscrew the battery, take the battery out, and then gently wiggle that out by pulling on those wires, unfortunately. So it's not ideal. Uh, but you had to go slow and gentle, and you can wiggle that, that plug out of the port. After removing your battery, you reveal your CMOS battery right here. It's stuck down by double-sided tape, and it plugs into the motherboard right here. If you're here to replace this battery, I will have a replacement option below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer. And if you are here to replace it, you can just pull that right up. Again, it's just double-sided tape. It's not screwed down or anything. You can just pop that right up and replace it after unplugging it. If you're here to reset your BIOS, you don't have to pull the battery up. You can leave it stuck down. Just use your fingernails or a pry tool, uh, maybe a small pair of pliers to, to wiggle that out of that port right there. After leaving it unplugged for maybe 15, 20 seconds, that's usually sufficient to reset your BIOS system settings. Now keep in mind that will usually only reset your BIOS system settings and not your BIOS password. If you want more BIOS password reset information, check out below in the description in the FAQs. And I guess the last thing to mention about this kind of a repair, resetting BIOS this way is a common troubleshooting step if your laptop's not turning on. If that's why you're here and you would like the full troubleshooting step-by-step -step guide and how to find out why your computer's not turning on and how to fix it, there will be a link below in the description, also above, and that will be a link to troubleshoot why your laptop's not turning on. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside your Legion Y7000 and access your CMOS battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.